Today I wanted to join to uh, discuss a thing that I often see actors talk about, which is some sort of overwhelm. Like, so if you've been feeling that you're busy running around to do all the actor stuff, um, but you're feeling that you're not moving forward, that's what we're going to be talking about today. So you may be feeling like already you have a lot happening in your personal life. You may have a lot happening in your finances, health, all the aspects of personal life. But then there's so many ducks in the row of your career, like you need to work on your headshot, you need to work on your reel, you need to make sure you have the right team, and maybe sometimes you're not sure you have the right team, the right agent, there's stuff to discuss with them. Maybe you're considering a new agent, a new manager, maybe you don't have an agent or a manager and you're looking for one. You may find yourself finding the, spending a lot of time looking for work. You may spend a lot of time, you know, um, applying for work, like learning lines, taping, auditioning, doing workshops and showcases. And I mean, the list is endless, right? There's so many things to do. There's classes that you can attend for this technique or, or, or camera work or tape work or, I mean, there is so, so, so much, like just talking about it, I'm kind of feeling exhausted. There's marketing now too, there's marketing classes, right? So you may be feeling that you're exhausted and that you're busy running around a lot and that in a way, if you're running around a lot, you're expecting some return from all of that investment that you're putting in, right? It's a lot of time and it's a lot of money and you might not see that things are improving. And that can be very frustrating, um, to say the least, and exhausting, depleting. And um, and yeah, you're not seeing any results for it. So I understand that's frustrating. And maybe you've tried, you know, even taking more classes. Like, oh, maybe I need to take a class for my reel and take a class for my tapes and take a class for my marketing and take a class for my agent stuff, right? And so... You know me, maybe, and you don't, uh, but if, you, if you're discovering, um, usually um, I, I want to get to the root of the problem. And I would like to say that the problem is not that you're working on all of those things. The problem is, let me find an analogy, is a little bit like if you were running around trying to do all those things without any legs. Or if you would be running around trying to do all those things without really having a full instrument to show up with, without being present. So what I'm saying is that if you're showing up for your headshot and you're not 100% you, you won't have a headshot that does due diligence to who you really are. If you're working on your reel, updating it or creating it, but you're not 100% free and purposeful, your reel will not be as good as you are. If you're trying to have agent meetings or work with your current agent and you're not as present and authentic as you really are, your relationship and therefore the results that they will get for you will not be as good as who you are. If you're auditioning, taping, and you're not 100%, you know, open, alive, authentic, free, instinctive, your tapes, your auditions will not be great and you will not book, etc., etc., etc. So, you can run around all you want. You can try to run faster than the others. You can try and do more workshops, more classes, change your headshot more, work with the best. Let's work with the best headshot person, the best photographer. If you are not able to show up 100% free in your essences as who you really, really are, your headshots will look good, but they will not do the job. The casting directors will not see your artistic essence shine through. You will not stand out. If you get the best footage from the best real casting, of, not casting office, but from, I know there's so many places that will do reels for you, um, or you're just juxtaposing scenes from all over the place that you've gathered, gathered from footage, but you're not showing up in all that footage from being 100% free and purposeful, instinctive, fully alive, open, vibrant, present, authentic, guess how your reel will be? It won't be that, right? And how do you get chosen? How do you get called in the room from those two pieces? You can have the best agent. You can be working with CAA. But if you show up in those meetings and you show up in a few auditions and you're not extraordinary, guess what will happen? they won't call you again. So you can try and get the best of all of those things. 
You can work super hard and go to the best, most expensive workshop, the best, most expensive acting school, whatever. If you are not 100% you capable to be there in the moment present, none of the things that you're trying to run around for will work, right? Because again, it's again, you're showing up to all of these things without any legs, without any instrument, with half of who you really are. So it cannot work. It's a formula that will not work. A lot of actors say, oh my God, I'm, I'm so committed to get my freedom back. I'm 100% committed to work through this and get myself back, to be able to deliver some fulfilling performances, some impactful performances. But I have too much going on. But I don't have the finances, things like that. So you want to look at that and look at why you have too much going on. You want to look at why the finances are not working and get to the conclusion because there is no other way to look at it that the way that you are showing up to everything is not 100% you. And if you are not showing up to everything as 100% you, none of the things that you're trying to put in place can work. They literally can't right? If I'm trying to go play tennis without any legs, it doesn't work. If I'm trying to play my acting career, uh, to move through my acting career with half an instrument, it can't work, right? No matter how hard I, tr I try, it's going to be frustrating at the end of the day because I'm going to deploy so much energy, but I'm not coming up with the raw material that makes sense. If you're overwhelmed, you are doing too much. Things should not be this hard. If your instrument is extraordinary, if you're able to deliver some impeccable, remarkable, outstanding, magnetic performances that are Oscar-worthy, that are award-worthy, that are impactful and fulfilling to you, you don't even have to have all those ducks in a row. People will see you because it's rare. And people will notice you and they will try to get you because they'll want to work with you. They'll change scripts for you. They'll change genders for you. They'll change role types for you because they will want to work with you. This is what happens in our community of actors all the time. Right? It's, it's like for you. If, if you're going to buy anything, you're going to buy the best version of it, the most rarest version of it. It's the same for a casting director or a director. If they're going to be looking for someone or an agent... They want the most authentic free version of it because that's what you're selling. You're selling an open instrument, a fully alive instrument because acting is the art of being fully alive. And if you can't show up fully alive, what are you selling? Your desire, your ambition, your perseverance, your working hard. No one cares about that. When they say action... Are you able to be 100% present? If you're not, you have nothing to sell. Right? So I, I want to make sure that you guys stop making excuses for yourself as I have no time to take care of my instrument right now. I have no time to get free right now. Or I have no money to get free right now. Or I'm not in the right location to take care of my instrument right now. Or even... It's because of COVID that I can't do this right now. None of these things are true. The only thing that matters to your career is your capacity to be 100% alive. When that's taken care of, all the ducks will set up in place automatically. Everything will flow because you'll become a hot commodity because you'll have the one thing that people are looking for. But if you're not taking care of that, and instead you're hoping that all of your doing out there, all of your running around will get, give you an opportunity, it is not true. You may catch an opportunity by doing a drop-off, a workshop, a, a meeting, whatever. But if you cannot show up for that opportunity, 100% free, instinctive, and alive, you will not work consistently. You will not be fulfilled when you work. And you will not impact an audience. So I want to make sure that you guys are not kidding yourselves when you're looking at your acting career. And when you're wanting to deliver those yummy performances that feel great to you and that impact the audience, that make a difference in the world and that are recognized. It's not about all your running around. It's about you. You are the only thing that makes a difference. And if you are not 
polished, shining, all of it working, able to feel what you feel, able to be in the uncomfortable emotions, able to just be fully present, all you're going to do is you're going to try and numb yourself out there, going to workshops, going to, going to a, a, a showcase, a, a casting director talk, an, another agent meeting, trying to send this and that without actually having 100% stuff to show up for it afterwards. So you're wasting your time. If you're not 100% present, it's painful. If it's painful, you're going to try and numb yourself. It's called addiction. And you're going to try all of those outside tricks out there. to feel like something's going to give. Something's going to help from out there. It won't. Addictions don't work. You're going to need more and more and more numbing. And the issue, the core wound, is not going to feel better. Numbing is not the way. Doing is not the way. Being is the way. You have to take care of your instrument. You're an artist. If you're unable to be in the moment, present, open, free, instinctive, here, nothing can happen. If this triggers you, let us know. Get in there in the comments with us and let us help you move through it. Um, it's time to take care of you. When you take care of you, then all the puzzle pieces fall into place. It's like a domino effect, right? If this triggers you or resonates, um, you can definitely um, get in touch with us and we can send you some information. Bye.